the first edition of Tractatus Supercontractum de Censis Annis et Perpetuis by John of Segovia. I'm Adam Douglas of Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this first edition of one of the earliest books published on the subject of finance. It's published in Cologne, undated, but uh, the current thinking is that it was printed in 1472. That's a, an interesting year in that that is also the year that William Caxton went to Cologne to learn to print. So we're very early in the history of printing. Cologne started printing there in 1466 with Ulrich Zell. Uh, this is Johann Kohlhoff, whose son went on to print the famous Cologne Chronicle. So it's a very early book. Uh, just in terms of printing history, one of the things it's notable for is the first use or very earliest use of signatures in a book. If you see here at the foot of the page, Kohlhoff has added a little letter and a number which allows, and there's on the second page, the second leaf, there is a two and so on, a three. And so that allows the printer and the binder to know how to put the book together. So if we skip through then to B, we see B1, B2. This is very familiar, of course, from later books, but this is one of the first books to have this, um, and it was Kohlhoff's innovation. The book itself, as I mentioned, is one of the earliest books about finance. It's actually on the subject of uh, what's known as census, which is uh, the distinction that writers felt that they had to make between the systems of um, annuities, both uh, perpetual and lifetime annuities, uh, the system of census or census, which um, allowed th these financial instruments to be used because, of course, uh, the biblical injunctions against usury, uh, lending money at interest, um, were a problem for uh, late medieval times. So uh, as the new financial instruments came in, churchmen like John of Segovia wrote on the subject and distinguished between the two practices. So from that point of view, it's a very early work on economics, on finance, and um, significant from that point of view. The copy itself is in a 19th century binding with a rather attractive label on the front cover, which uh, has most of the details wrong, as is typical of 19th century binders and their labels. Um, they, but uh, nevertheless, it's an attractive copy of the book. There are a few annotations on the linings. Um, the book is not thoroughly rubricated. There are one or two paragraph marks highlighted in red, but it hasn't been given the, the grand treatment. The initial spaces here are left blank. So this has been treated more as a, as a working book than as a luxury um, manuscript would have been with uh, all sorts of painterly embellishments. But it's very um, attractive and clean. The paper is still strong and fresh. Um, for more details about this book, and other early works on finance, please see the Peter Harrington website.